Right everyone, so it's uh, ten past one in the morning and I've just watched uh, Joker for the Dirks or I don't know how you pronounce it. Now I couldn't wait till the morning to give my review on this film. I loved the first one, absolutely thought the first one was an absolutely brilliant film. So artistic, so fantastic story-wise. It was brilliant. Joaquin Phoenix is absolutely fantastic in that film. They, the first one is absolutely brilliant. I love the first one. The first one is very depressing in a lot of ways. And uh, when they were saying they're going to do a Joker film, I was I wasn't sure what they were going to do. I never really looked at the Joker film with Joker and Phoenix as a established within the Batman world kind of thing. Gotham City, I, I kind of took it on as a standalone, and it was absolutely brilliant. It was absolutely fantastic. At the end of that film, I was kind of thinking, did he really do all those things? Or was it in his imagination? Like some of the things in that film were in his imagination. And the characters in that film were absolutely brilliant. It was a fantastic you know, story. It was an absolute brilliant story. In this one, the first 45 minutes are, you know, it's setting up quite well. It's good. And then after that, it's all the way down. It, it's just, is I don't, I don't get it. I, I, you know, 20 past one in the morning and I'm doing this review because I'm peed off. They destroyed. I, I'm assuming some people know what the ending is like. I'm not going to spoil it. I, I kind of heard rumours out there what they were going to do and what they did do. And after seeing it, it's worse than I actually thought. It is just, when I saw it, I just thought, what a way to absolutely, excuse my language, bastardise your own natural story. You created a fantastic story in the first film and it didn't need a sequel. It was good as it was. It was a standalone. It was good. You didn't need another one. And you're going back to watch that kind of film and you know what, there's a sequel to it and they just absolutely destroy it. They absolutely destroy the world that they created. The greatness elements within the first film it's this character you know uh, Arthur Fleck is his loneliness is his depression all the elements that he's got this kind of world that's in his head is it real or not real the things he has done you know it, that it's open to interpretation by the end of the film and I love it for that it's absolutely film fantastic the cinematography is brilliant in it everything is great about it this one you know the cinematography is there it's absolutely really lovely to look at it's great um, the the color palette the everything in it you know Joaquin Phoenix is brilliant Lady Ganga's good Brendan Gleeson is good but the story after the 45 minutes it just goes nowhere it's just, and it's, it's, oh, it's, it just goes to places that are very unbelievable, even for its own self. It's like, what are you doing? As if they would allow this character to do certain things that he's doing, and it's just like, what? And you don't even explain situations, it just happens. And by the end of it, I, you know, by the end of the, the credits rolling, I pause to kind of think in my head, I'm going to have to do this review because I'm, I'm so peed off on what they did. I, I kind of heard what they were going to do at the end or what they have done. And I, and I wasn't ready for what they did do. It, it, uh, some people are going to absolutely love it. Uh, but I, for me, I hate it. I think they should have left The Joker as a standalone film and gone on to something different. Why did you need to do that? Uh, you, you've absolutely destroyed it absolutely unbelievably absolutely took the biggest crap then added some rubbish on top then added a big piece of turdy cherry on top and added some bloody you know syrup and you know I'm, I'm not surprised the fans are kind of going what a bad film this is I didn't think it would be this bad but it is it is terrible. It's as if they kind of thought, right, let's be successful. Let's try to be successful again. We did it in the first one. We'll try it in this one. Right, okay. And there's nothing wrong with the mu being a musical. It's a great concept. I could see what they were doing and it would have worked. The first 45 minutes of 15 minutes is good. 
it's a build up and you think right something's going to happen here and then it just goes <laughs> and it's just like scene 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 sing 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 scene 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 where is this going end and a really bad ending at that as well because you're kind of like they haven't done what they did and they do I am really peed off I am really peed off I hate when they bastardise a film and re do a sequel to a fantastic film the first one is an absolute brilliant film it's depressing it, and you know it's it's a fantastic film and it's all right i would never kind of connect it to the even though he's joker i would never connect it to you know gotham city the batman world because it's a it's a contained story about this guy who's depressed who's is lonely and 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 it ele you know it raises that element to a lot of people out there who are you know in a lot of ways depressed and other other you know psycho you know psychological issues and stuff like that and it's a great film for that it's open to interpretation the end has he done all these things or not and i love it for that it's a closed off film i love it for that reason and then they come up with this one and they absolutely destroy it it is unbelievably what they did Oh, I wish you'd never seen it now. It is that bad. The first 45 minutes, like I said, are, are, are good. The rest is just... It's as if they had no clue what to do. And at the end, right, we've got this idea. Oh, They should have left it the first one. If you love the first one, I would highly suggest, if you've not seen this one, don't. Don't go into this one. If you love the first film and you love Joaquin Phoenix's Joker and you love that closed off kind of element to it, you know, by the end, has this happened and or not as it is in his head, leave. Just don't watch the second one. It, it's just a... Oh, I hate when filmmakers do that. I really, really hate when filmmakers do that. I, I was kind of very sceptical when they said they're going to do another one because I thought you don't need to do another one. This is the first one is good. Just do something else. Go somewhere else. Do a different story. Uh, you know, come up with a different f film. But I don't know how much they spent on this film. I'm sure it's billions. And it's flopped. And do you know what? Good. Because it deserves to flop. I, I feel bad for the character, uh, the actors in it. It's not characters. I feel bad for the actors in this. Joaquin Phoenix is in an absolute amazing actor. He's brilliant. Brilliant in Gladiator. Um, and this one... He's just not even... He's just wasted. He's good. Don't get me wrong. As well as Lady Gaga, Brendan Gleeson. I like Brendan Gleeson. But it's just... It's just... It's just... No, I... have you guys seen it what do you think leave your comments down below but oh. hey, I'm going to go to bed but don't watch it if you love the first one you haven't seen it please do not watch it you might you, you might watch it and you might love it and thinking what's this guy going on about but for me it was a pile of trash anyway guys you take care and until the next video bye